Hi everyone, this is Cindy, and I just wanted to correct something in one of my earlier videos when I was showing the digitals I was using for the farmer's market um, journals. I showed a page, I know I showed probably this one. I don't know if I showed this one or not. And I think I probably said it was from Home Book and Treasures, but it's not, it's from Junk Journal Inspirations Facebook group. And they have, um, some lady makes and donates freebies every month. And this was happened to be one of the months uh, things they always have like a template or template and um, a one or two of the uh, you know things to go with it so I'm not sure what the template was with this but uh, I definitely wanted it because of the farmers market so I'm using it for collage and um, that's what I was working on I thought I better correct this because I went to print another one see because I didn't have I think I put the other one in the journal I just think it makes a great journal page so you know for me uh, tearing it apart um, I'm not so sure about that. So anyway, um, and then of course these can be used as ephemera. So uh, I'm working on a collage. I have this um, CD case envelope, whatever they're called. It's got the round circle. So I was I'm trying to collage that, and I, thought I need some more stuff. I was just using a few things on my desk, and um, I needed something. I already have the journaling card for this, and. Uh, Let's see if you can see it. It's I put a label on there, but it just really blends in. This is some embroidery work that my mother had done um, years ago. I bought for her a um, I think I bought it. I'm not sure. Um, or she bought it because she knew I wanted it. It was on different barns, and on the bottom it said Old Pennsylvania, but I could not fit that in there. So I had just taken it to my copy machine. I mean, I'm my printer and printed a copy because I thought you know the old barns would work for the farmers market and uh, we might run across yep a couple of other ones here this one I messed it up because it was fold there so it actually can be collaged but here's the horse stable so I still have the um, dish towels they're on and um, so anyway I'm just extremely lucky that my mother loves to embroidery she has to have Something to do at night, keep her hands busy. She's made one quilt and working on another one probably within the last month, maybe two months. And she took time out the other day because I had been to one of the thrift stores and found a package of um, pillowcases that you can buy that's already stamped with the embroidery design. It was like $2. And you know, if you were to buy them at the, you know, Hobby Lobby or something, they're like nine or 10 or eight or nine, something like that. So I said, oh, she would like these. So I gave them to her. Well, she didn't like the design on it too much. So she washed it and washed out the embroidery ink, you know, and stamped her own pattern and then gave me these pillowcases the other day. And I should have brought one in. It's just gorgeous. Big old sunflowers and just fall colors on them. Oh, they're lovely. I have many sets of hand uh, embroidered pillowcases from my mother and grateful for every one of them. So I'm really sidetracked. I should be collaging while telling this story. Okay. Uh, just here is part of the when I was um, scanning that um, tea, tea towel I had this you know as the border so I thought oh, hey that's not wasted I can use a little bit of that on here so anyway enough talking let's just get to work uh, I'm just not going to even look at the design I'm just going to rip it and try to get it to fit now I've got this curve and, you know it doesn't really matter but I thought well if I'm doing it why not try try to go around the curve so I just kind of put a piece down and then um, see if it goes and then of course I have the straight edge here that needs to come off and there may be better ways to do this but I'm not sure what it is so I'm just gonna uh, mess with it and this um, paper here is um, from an old five ring binder you can see the five holes the pages that I didn't want to use for it was a flower journal so I just use them as glue pages and when I'm done, I don't feel so bad about throwing them away. I don't have to, you know, a lot of people fold them up and go to make journal cards out of them, but I just throw it away. So anyway, um, and also if I need a piece of paper, I don't feel so bad about, um, I can tear it out of here too. It's an old paper. I'm, I'm just going to tear this one up since it's got, um, you know, I folded it, had a fold in it, yeah. And I'm going to put it right there, and then I'll trim it off. So, anyway, I am, um, I've been suffering from sinuses, I guess, since the beginning of COVID, like March of last year. And it's just always on my right side, and it was okay, 
but I went to Walmart today and wore a mask and I mean it made it worse so I had to go back to Walmart <laughs> and um, I didn't wear a mask that time so forget it I'll just uh, slather all the you know the hand sanitizer on me and then um, I'll just be good and it was so cool I had to take some curtains back and curtain rods I got them way too big uh, I kind of like the word garden there so I'm just talking and gluing and we'll we'll make it work later let's see I folded one over but um, I guess I could fold the rest of these over um, I don't think so on the top though anyway I was standing there uh, the lady was printing out these labels to put on my curtains I was taking back and um, I bought everything way too big and this lady and her husband are walking out and I'm like oh my gosh and I used to work with her over in Hugo about 40 minutes away so I hollered at her and we got hugged and we said oh we're not supposed to be doing this and we both said we don't care I hadn't seen her I was thinking about it I graduated I graduated yes I finally graduated <laughs> I retired 2012 um, I was able to take retirement pretty much um, almost the minute I could so anyway I haven't seen her since 2012 so that was really neat and she lives in a town about 15 miles away I said you still live there yeah I said well you know my husband and I moved here because of his health and his family's here so anyway we had a little visit there at Walmart so it kind of made my day because it kind of made going to Walmart twice in one day okay so um, anyway yeah I was able to retire early I mean not really early um, in Oklahoma your age taught no I didn't say that right your age plus your years taught have to add up to 80 used to so I was fortunate that I was able to retire at the ripo age of 51 extremely lucky I started working pretty much right out of college I never took any time off so I was I was eligible so my husband wanted me to and I'm glad I did uh, we still had a child in school though but it was still neat I was able to do much more with her her schooling and stuff so um, now Oklahoma's thing is you have to be 95 your age taught and your you know your age and your years taught have to add up to 95 and that'll give you an idea of how uh, how it's changed but anyway um, Enough of that. That's no, nothing to do with crafting. And I'm uh, I'm just kind of fiddling around here. Yesterday, well, the night before. So this is Friday. Uh, so Wednesday night. I mean, I go to bed late. I, I really do. I get busy watching TV or something. I've always been a night owl. So it was probably 1 o'clock in the morning. And... I said something to my husband about, I think I asked him, I can't remember. I said, have you heard from your friend, his Navy buddy, that they, ha they haven't seen each other in 50 years. And it was September of whatever 50 years ago is. And this uh, guy had contacted him and, and uh, wanted to, you know, get together just briefly. I mean, it wasn't like spending the whole weekend or anything. Yeah, because he knew Bill was uh, not in good health. So anyway... I said, have you heard from him? Because he said he was going to let us know when he was going to be in the area. His sister lives in Houston, so it's kind of kind on the... He's, he lives in Illinois, so, you know, kind of on the way. So, um, when I asked him Wednesday night at 1 in the morning, I covered up my flower. He said, oh, he said he's going to be here either Wednesday or Thursday. And I said today's Wednesday or actually you know it had passed already he said well he's probably gonna be here tomorrow then so that morning I woke up and I start slinging stuff you know yeah you got your bills here piled up and um, some few dishes in the sink and had to run the sweeper and uh, all that stuff and anyway uh, he arrived and his phone wasn't working here and um, so he had to, uh, he thought he knew how to get here. No, we're not on GPS yet. But we're, this edition's new. It shows up as a field, you know. So he, some guy let him use his phone. I don't know where he stopped to ask directions or whatever. This guy let him use his phone. He was just shocked that someone would do that. And 
I tried to tell him where to go, and then I thought, I'm going to go out to the highway and look for him. And his wife, I had talked to his wife several times, because that was the phone, because he couldn't get a hold of us, so she tried getting a hold of us. And she told me what kind of car he drove, and so I'm looking for it, and finally I thought, I am not, I am not cut out for surveillance work. So I went to... And I wasn't sure, but I needed, I thought I need both cell phones. I need my husband's cell phone and mine. See, this is just a complicated story because it was a complicated morning. And um, so I went back to the house and I was telling Bill, hey, I'm not cut out for surveillance, but I need your phone. And he said, well, you want me to go with you? And I'm like, yeah, because I don't feel so bad sitting on the side of the road with my flashers on, you know, because you have to be kind of where you can see the highway. So anyway, uh, about the time we're driving to the end of the road, up to the highway, Bill accidentally calls his wife on his phone, and we have a conversation. I was going to use some of this. I forgot. Where's the pieces I have here? And I said, hey, why don't you tell him to meet us at Walmart? Walmart's easy to find. Go. We'll be at the gas pumps, and we'll find him there. So about 30 minutes later, he shows up because, you know, he's, someone tells him, I told him, I think, Highway 70. Well... I forgot that Highway 70 loops around town, so it's really kind of two Highway 70s. So anyway, we found him, and he came, and he was a very nice gentleman, and there was lots of old Navy stories told, and even though he and my husband kind of went through training differently and just arrived in Vietnam, it was Vietnam stories, uh, differently, they still knew some of the same people, and they ended up in the same uh, riverboat, so that's how they knew each other, of course. So anyway... I, you know, I barely had my house done. I never had a time that morning to take a shower because I thought, I'll clean the kitchen and get the sweeper going. I'll run and take a shower. Well, no, I realized they had tried calling us before I ever got in the shower. So it was one of those days. So I thought, you know, it doesn't matter. It's all about people and reconnecting. And so what if my hair is <laughs> barely combed? But anyway, um, crazy day. Um, I don't really know why I was telling all that for, but... I didn't get any crafting done. I guess that's kind of my point. So, anyway, that looks kind of funny, that carrot. Let's not use that. Okay, let's uh, use this piece. May that be long enough? Oh, and anyway, today I went to my craft store. And the bags of stuff is behind me. I wanted to do the video real quick telling how I got that um, collage page wrong. So um, I haven't unsacked it. You know, it's kind of like, I'm going to miss it. I still got a little spot. It's kind of like, you know, shopping again when you get home and like, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about the, brought that. I'm not going to cover that little spot. It just looks kind of like some of these other white spots. And if I could find my ink dauber, I would cover it up. But anyway, there's that envelope. And I don't, I guess, see, I never know how to handle these things. Do I keep it on there? Do I take it off? I mean, if you tuck it down, it's going to show, even though it would be nice to have that reinforcement. Um, I really want to cut it off. I don't know. Someone tell me what other people do. And for now, I'm just going to cut it off. If anyone has a better solution, let me know, and next time I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to ink around it and everything. And I think that would be cute in my um, Farmer's Market journal over here. And the journal is kind of wide. I think it's six and a half. Is it six and a half pages? I think so. And I don't remember. Yeah. And I think I started talking earlier about, yeah, I did. My sinuses are undone, so I mean, I messed up. So anyway, I guess I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crazy video. I will see you in the next time. Here's the pile of bookmarks. Oh, I know what we can do. Forget the bookmarks. We can unpack my stuff. Oops. Okay. I really went crazy and I bought this dress at, this is a Goodwill. And it's just like a little sleeveless dress. I have no idea what size it is because I don't want to wear it. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have, what in the world? You hear that? Somebody, the people next door are getting a swimming pool, so I guess they're working on that. Anyway, it's this sheer overlay or whatever you want to call that fabric that goes over the skirt. And it's a pretty long skirt. 
So I thought that would be great to put over papers. Like we did, I did the lace, if you saw that. So you just glue it on top of some book pages, some copy dyed paper, and it just kind of gives a different effect to it. Kind of like what you would do if you were gluing a napkin on there. So I kind of spent a little more extra money on that, but I thought I could surely get a dozen or two pages out of it and it'd be fun. They had a dish towel for 50 cents, and I'm like, I'm not going to do it's USA, so I'm using that for 50 cents in my house. So I'll wash that and, and go to the kitchen. Okay, this is kind of a joke between me and the genealogy ladies. They won't be watching this video, so they won't know. I got another paper clip. I'm not paper clip. Clipboard. And it was a whole dollar. And someone had gone and put scrapbook paper on there and ribbon. Both sides and all these ribbons. And uh, it's gorgeous. I love it. It cost a dollar. I'll add it to my collection. I used to have, like, I had one time, at one time I had 13 clipboards, so it was kind of a deal, a joke, but, you know, I can't turn it down. It's a dollar. I also found this um, shirt, and it's very pretty, and I think I can, if I wanted to, I could do a bunch of those lace pages with this one as well, so. And what else did I get? Oh, yeah. I debated about this a while because I do not need the yarn. So we could just get donated back probably. But it was $4, which it was kind of a little pricey. But I thought, you know, it's got quite a bit of stuff in here. Let's see what's in here. I knew there was a bunch of lace and some tool, some white tool, so, and buttons. The buttons were loose. Like, here's three of them. I mean, two, yeah, three of them. Yes, I can count. Three of them. And I will put them in my jar that's right here. Sorry if I'm stretching and my head's in the way. I did take a shower this morning, finally. Actually, yes. <laughs> so, we're good on that. Okay, um, the yarn. It's baby yarn, like... And, you know, I might play around with that and see if I can make a dish towel. Or, I'm not towel. Dish cloth or something, but that's not what I bought it for. I didn't buy it for the white. Even though I thought that was regular yarn, but it's not. It's kind of like the same stuff, but it's smaller. So anyway, and I knew it had the um, bias tape, which I really didn't want. But, you know, you can take bias tape and your iron and iron it open. And then you can use it as the base for snippers. I knew it had the white tool, and I don't think I have any of this. So look how much there is. And then it had this big roll of lace. And what I like about this is it's flat and it's white, and I use it for spines on um, booklets made out of book pages or fragile paper, so I've got a lot of that. There's more buttons, and then this, I would, oh, then I knew there was rickrack, and I like the color. It's just like a real faded, uh, it's a blue or faded green, let's see. And it's called Blue Haze, so it's a real faded out blue, so I like that, okay. And then this I thought was interesting because I was thinking maybe I could stamp on that. It's just like fabric. I'm sure it's got some fancy name, but I don't know what it is. So anyway, I just bought that because I think I was just crazy to go to the store or something. But even the buttons, you know, are nice. So anyway, that's all from um, there. Let me see what I got for mine. And you, usually I don't get this much stuff at Goodwill, but um, they had a lot out today. So, um, there's one more in here. Usually I get more at my thrift store, my world's greatest th thrift store. Okay, let me find one to do with that stuff. So. I'm getting it. Oops, I'm throwing stuff around too. This video is all about side effects. I'm mean, not side effects, sound effects. I found this and I haven't opened it yet and I was really excited about it. Because I thought, um, I thought maybe I have some, but I wasn't sure. If you've seen um, um, Gail make that cover, I don't know what she calls it, but she has all the scraps of paper. Um, someone may be coming into my house. I'm not sure. Anyway, yep, there's the door. Do that or the dog going out. It's people. Um, Um, let me just um, stop the video and I will come back and finish this. Thanks for staying with me in this chaos. Bye. Okay, sorry I'm back. Uh, so my brother-in-law, and he was talking, but he was talking to his wife on the phone, so he didn't need me. So, okay, we were talking about this. It's the um, 
stabilizer that washes away. So Gil had made a cover and it was just gorgeous. I think, you know, part, mainly because of the colors of the fabric she used. But you just put down little scraps of fabric, put this over it, and then you take your sewing machine and you just do all this crazy stitching. And then you um, just put a little bit of water on this and it dissolves. And then there's your stitching. You It helps you because if you were to sew without it, your presser foot would keep catching on that. Um, the fabric as it, you know, because it's just like loose. And I'm going to be here all day with this tape. They didn't want it to come loose. Man, maybe I can pick this. So I'm sure I'm well uh, frame. Can't seem to hang on to anything. Um, uh, there we go. I made a good cut. And we got it. So anyway. It's called, this one's called Badge, Embroidery Stabilizer, Badge Master. I don't know, I think they were, I saw another thing about badge stump something, so it was helping you do something, but I didn't get it, so I, I don't think I need that. Jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> so, here goes my, all my exercise for today, I'm done. Uh -huh. Okay, get all these things. Okay. I don't think it's ever been used and it's just this film that you put over your um, stuff and then it um, let's uh, tear off excessive and spray washer rinse the back of the embroidery to remove the balance yeah so anyway I'm gonna try it sometime um, so anyway I've what two dollars for that so a lot cheaper than what you would buy it um, some place that sells embroidery machine supplies. I'm going to try to get that back on. Okay, what else did we get there? I got uh, a bag of fall leaves. They're small. I think, what, 50 cents. Well, that one's not too small, but um, I can't pick up anything. They're thin, so I like that you can kind of see through them. So, anyway, I'm sure I have some fall leaves like this, but I like the size of those, so I got them. I got this for my mother. She loves crossword puzzles, and if she doesn't want it, look how wonderfully aged those pages are. I don't think anyone ever used it, so um, this would keep her busy for a long time when she's not embroidering. So a dollar for that. And I found uh, these Halloween, these were 75 cents for cakes, holder, and I think the other things are toothpicks. So it says spooky plastic and then RIP or something. Okay, fun little elements. You can take the little plastic out of there and use them on junk journals, you know, the scary ones, Halloween ones. And then these, it's got rest in peace. But even if you didn't like the rest in peace, you can cover that up. But I take these to my iron. I'm probably way off screen. And I flatten them like that, and it does a great job of flattening them. And then I put them on back them on some stupid paper and that makes a tuck for a pocket. So that was something that was fun. I got some wallpaper because it looks like it's got fruits and vegetables on it. So I know I had that one that looks kind of like seed packets. So for the uh, floral journals, maybe we can use this too. And it was 50 cents. They have a big bend, uh, like a tub full of different borders. And then they had this rack that's got the regular um, wallpaper. Got some old dicky tape might can use in collage or something. Put it over there. And then, yes, I think that's very pretty and bright. So I definitely can make um, some pockets and maybe a belly band too. So, um, and it's got flowers in it too, so it could work in floral journals. So anyway, um, I got 50 cents, whatever I lost. And then I got this. Christmas cards. Um, I was flipping through it and it seemed like it had some ideas that might be kind of cool and uh, I thought if nothing else I can use the pages uh, in glue books or even in junk journals. Christmas ones. So you can even cut out the pictures and use in junk journals. So um, yeah, it was a quarter. 
If it has an X over it, it's a quarter. So I thought for a quarter, I get quarters worth of fun just going through it and looking at the pictures and things and the ideas and tag Rudolph and all that. And these I thought was cool. If it has that pattern, I like that. So I'm sure they will. So anyway, um, that's all I got. But it's enough to make me feel like I accomplished something today besides, um, I don't know, what, buying curtains, taking them back and buying some more curtains. But anyway, nothing beats meeting my friend that I worked with for several, several, I mean, at least a decade or more. So anyway, it was cool. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.